Hello YouTube, this is DrawingKid1313 and welcome to a mod installation tutorial. It's been a while since I've done one of these, but I've recently gotten a request to do this specific mod, so that's what I'm going to do. The mod that I'm going to be showing you how to install is Red Power. It says it's for Minecraft 1.4.6 on the download page, however, it will work with Minecraft 1.4.7. Just make sure that you have the either the latest version of Forge. If the latest version of Forge does not work, then obtain the version that I have right here. Uh, it's for 1.4.7 and it's version 6.6.1.523. Alright, so if all else fails and this installation does not seem to be working for you, use all of the same versions that I have. Don't change a single thing about it. Alright? So now, uh, it's pretty self-explanatory where you download these two but you can go to lram.com, link will be in the description, that way you can go to the download page, you simply click on RP to download, click on that, and then you're going to download all four of these, don't get just one, don't get just this one, don't get just that one, don't get these two, get all four of them, alright? The next thing that you're going to do, well, in no particular order for the downloading, but you're going to get to uh, files.minecraftforge.net, and you're going to download either the latest version of Minecraft Forge, right now at the time of this video, it is the version that I have. If the latest version is something later than this, and it does not seem to work, then use the version that I'm using right now, which is this one. Can't stress that enough, because it always happens. The next thing that I want to specify is which link do you click? Well, this goes to the source, so if you want to code a mod, you can look at the source, but this isn't going to do anything if you want to actually use... Oops. If you want to actually use Minecraft Forge, this is the Java doc. I think that's something else with the source. You don't really want that either because that's not going to help you. You want Universal. This is the thing that you're going to install to your Minecraft client. All right. So now with that all the way out of the way, we're going to exit out of that, and now we are at the desktop. So you can see that I have all the mods and all of the zip files that we are going to need right in this folder that I have on my desktop. Now the first thing that you want to do when you install any mod is you want to go to your Minecraft folder. This is usually stored in your roaming folder. You can get to that folder by either pressing Windows R or, I'll press escape out of that, going to the start menu, typing run, and then you can go there too. Or you can just simply type this into the start menu and type percent app data percent. All right, and you can see that's already a, an option right there. But if you just press enter, it'll take you there. And you can see this is where the .minecraft folder is because I tested it before just to make sure that it worked before I started recording. The first thing that you want to do whenever you install any mod is, number one, back up any saves that you have. In fact, you know what? Just take your whole Minecraft folder, and just click and drag it to the desktop. All right? Keep it there. That way, if you mess anything up, you can go ahead, you can delete whatever's in here, and then click and drag this back into the roaming folder and then you could use that so that way you don't lose anything but what I'm going to do is I'm going to launch Minecraft again I'm going to have to enter my username and password and then go down here I want it to remember my password click login it's going to download a brand new dot Minecraft folder so this will ensure that nothing has been done to your Minecraft folder and that everything will go smoothly going to quit because well no mods are installed so you can't really do anything then you're going to go into your dot minecraft folder that was just downloaded you're going to go to bin and then you're going to find minecraft.jar you're going to right click on it and for this step you're going to need another program you're going to either need winrar you can just google that or you can get 7zip which is a free program i was, i used to use winrar winrar but i switched over to this because i was tired of winrar asking me to buy the full version because I don't want to buy a full version when I can just use 7-zip for free. So if you're using 7-zip, you're going to do open archive. If you're using WinRAR, I believe you do pretty much the same thing. It has like an it has something that says open archive. So just press that. Click that. It's going to take you to here. This is all the files that make up the Minecraft.jar. First thing that you're going to do in the Minecraft.jar is delete this meta imp folder. You're going to click on it and press delete going to say OK and it's going to get rid of it. Now you want to go to where you have Minecraft Forge installed. You're going to right click on it again and just click Open Archive once again. I'm going to put this on the other side of the screen. Now in this one it has a made it imp folder. Don't delete it. Don't do it. Leave it there. It's part of the mod. It's supposed to be there. 
what you're going to do is you're going to press Control A to select everything, or you could simply just make a little box and highlight everything, or you could click one, hold down Control, and click every single individual one. But I like to press Control A because it's faster. <laughs> Once you have everything uh, selected, you're going to click and drag over to your Minecraft.jar. It's going to ask you if you want to copy. You're going to say yes. It's going to copy it. Then you could exit out of everything. All right. So just keep in mind that right now we have not yet installed Red Power, but we are going to test to make sure that we installed Minecraft Forge correctly. I'm going to log into Minecraft again. <coughs> And once it starts up, we know that we did everything right. We could see the Minecraft Forge version right here. And we could say that we have some mods loaded, which is awesome. All right, we have all of that. Click done, click quit, because now we have to install Red Power. To install Red Power, it's probably one of the simplest things that you would ever have to do. Highlight all of these, all four of them, Mechanical, Digital, Core, Compact. Click and drag them over to this mods folder right here inside your .minecraft folder. If you hold down control, it'll switch from move to copy. That way you can keep the original versions of the mod in the folder that you specify. So it's going to copy them over there. Now if I go into the mods folder, you can see that I do have them inside that folder. All right, so now that we have everything installed, we're going to go to the Minecraft launcher. We're going to launch this again. Remember we have Red Power 2. We have everything that we need installed. And when we have it loaded up, we see that we have 12 mods loaded, 12 mods active. That's awesome. If we go to the mods, we see red power right there. And then if we go into the single player world, I have to create another one because I keep having to record this section because of audio issues. I'm going to make it a creative world. I'm going to create it. And I'm just going to show you that we do have all the items and everything is working correctly. Then soon, once we see it up, we're going to go into our creative inventory. Over here we see red power lighting, red power wiring and logic, red power micro blocks, and red power machinery. So we have everything, we did everything correctly, and hopefully you will do the same thing when you go to do this for yourself. I want to thank you for watching, I apologize for the loud noise. I want to thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, or if this has helped you in any way, be sure to leave a like, and or share it to your Twitter or Facebook or whatever you do these days. That's pretty much all I have to say. If you have any problems or questions or concerns, post a comment in the comments section. If this is not working for you, then please include your Minecraft version, Minecraft Forge version, and Red Power 2 version in the comments, and I will be sure to try and fix or help you solve the problem, whatever it is that you may be having. Like I said, that's pretty much it. Again, thank you for watching, and enjoy my new outro. Yeah!